Hey everybody, welcome to Art with Miss Rosser. Today we're gonna be making puffy paint. So if you don't know what this is, this is homemade paint that you can use tempera paints, acrylics to give it a color. Um, and you just use these ingredients. So we have water, <coughs> salt, and flour. Okay. So to make this paint, it's kind of like cooking. You have to use the proper measurements of all of these things to get the right consistency. Okay, so I'm using a blender. If you do not have a blender, you can use a fork or one of these mixers to mix it up by hand, okay? So for our measurements, we have one cup of flour and then three fourths cup. So I'm gonna put my one cup in, put that to the side, and then I have a one fourth, so you have to do three of these, okay? If you're happy to use measurements. Flour, now I'm gonna do the salt. So you need one third cup of salt. And it looks about like that. Okay, so salt. And then you have a cup and a half of water. So my Pyrex measurement cup says one and a half right there. Now I'm gonna blend it. Reminder to make sure to ask whoever you can that you can use these ingredients, okay? And make sure to clean up your mess. So it's only three ingredients, it should be super easy to clean up. So I grabbed a Ziploc bag and cut a small part off the end to use to apply the paint onto the paper. You can use any kind of paper you can get. And we're gonna create a cactus. So I'm doing a prickly pear cactus, but if you wanna do another kind of cactus, you can. I just thought prickly pear would be fun because it has all those different ears. You can do as many as I did, or you can add more or do less, however you want to do it. I started adding all these dots because I had a leftover mixture. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want to, and it resembles prickly pear spines. So, next thing you're going to do is let it dry. I would let it dry overnight just to make sure that it's completely dry and you'll be able to add color to it next. Also, I forgot to add acrylic paint to mine to give it a color, but you don't have to give it color if you don't have paint or if you don't want to. Um, the white color is just fine as it is. Also, please save the rest of whatever you made because it makes a lot and you can use it to do paper mache and different things like that. So we'll use it for another project. So try to save it. Just see everybody's cactus designs. 